I'm really excited to bring you guys the next unboxing. This is the brand new Swell series from new company Sugar House Holds. Uh, we are super pumped because we are one of the few places that actually has these holds. Um, Sugar House, basically, let me just read you their description. So uh, they are basically looking to help share what makes Utah so special. So what they say here is from the Techie Limestone and Logan American Fork in St. George to the pumpy cobbles of Maple Canyon, the pristine white granite of Little Cottonwood to the splitter sandstone of Indian Creek, Joe's Valley, and the Swell, which is San Rafael Swell, which I've never been to, but we're going to check out these holds. It'll be just like being there. Um, it's our goal at Sugar Households to share a piece of what makes these areas so special. Super cool. They're off to a hot start. So they shaped, they, uh, they hired shaper Keegan Minock, who is just on fire right now. He's got holds in all sorts of different hold companies, including the most recent Hobbit holes from Kingdom Climbing, uh, which I haven't seen yet in person, but the pictures look absolutely amazing. Um, he shaped their first line. They have Christopher Neal shaping their second line, the Mo series. So I cannot wait to see what this group does. The quality so far that I've just seen from pictures is awesome. So anyways, they sent us eight of their sets for you guys to check out today. So we're gonna get started doing that. Now let's just start with some pockets. So these are the medium pockets, the medium swell pockets. We're gonna just get these out here and take a closer look at them. Um, I have some other pockets from Keegan from uh, Capital, and I think his pockets are really, really nice. Super comfortable. So this particular pocket, we've got two, possibly three fingers that you can get in there. Uh, edges are nice and round. There you go. Look at that. Sweet. That's kind of a view you don't get to see very often um, in a climbing hold anyway. So yeah, everything is cool there. Nice aesthetic on the front. That's what matches the Swell series. Uh, Keegan is known for really nice aesthetics. So I'm, I'm excited to see what, what he did with the rest of the series. Here we've got another pocket. Again, another about two, three finger pocket, which makes sense since these are the mediums. They're not small, small. I'm guessing you're gonna get two in. Larges, you're gonna get more than that. Um, they have up to double XL at this point, I believe, for these pockets. Check that out from the back, cool. So it looks super comfortable. Fingers aren't stressed or anything there. Uh, here, there's three in there. So yeah, that's cool. This is a deeper pocket here. So this one, we can basically get uh, pretty far down. So you can pull harder, obviously, the, the deeper you get. Um, I feel like I'm making like terrible innuendos this whole time. I'm not trying to, I promise. So anyways, uh, cool, cool holds, really cool. So we've got five in the medium series. These are big holds. For like a medium hold, this is definitely pretty big. There's other companies, this might be like a large. Um, so I think you're, you're getting definitely good bang for your buck. They're not super expensive either, according to their website prices and on habitclimbing.com. Uh, and of course, these guys are poured out of habit, so out of proxy in Utah. Um, this is probably the most positive one that we have. We can very comfortably get three fingers in there. Really nice. And definitely we'll be able to pull off of that on a steep surface. Even a weak climber like myself. So here we have another nice, just deep pocket. Three fingers, super nice, super comfy. Um, we've got bolt holes, of course. And then we have, uh, yeah, we've got some areas where there's set screws. Looks like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm blind. There it is, down at the bottom. So it's set screwed, um, so you can get something in this so it doesn't spin. It looks like they are metal washers. It's just that some of the metal is covered up here. But if you check that out, there is a metal washer in there. So that's gonna, again, help uh, extend the lifetime of these holds. And hopefully you'll be sitting with them for a really long time. Really nice, definitely at home, either in a commercial gym or a home wall like my own. Although I think I'm kind of on the border between the two. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think that'll be, that'll be really nice. So I also just love pockets. I think pockets are super fun. I know some of you guys would disagree me disagree with me on that. Um, I think it's really important to have comfortable pockets. Nobody wants a pulley injury or anything like that while you're just having a good time climbing. 
Uh, these, I think, could be anywhere probably from a V1 to like a V6, depending on how you're setting them, but they're, uh, they're really nice, really comfortable. Let's see what else we have in the box here. Uh, here we go. Let's look at some more pockets while we're on a pocket roll. And these are the small pockets. in this series so we've got a whole bunch of pockets um, again you can see they're they're still pretty decent size definitely a little bit smaller uh, they're gonna be of course a little bit more shallow just because there's not as much plastic that kind of makes sense um, but very comfortable I can get three fingers in this no problem and that's one of ten here we've got a deeper one so this is oh that is just a sinker that's great so you got a little lip there. It feels super comfortable when you're grabbing that. Uh, you can do some nice cross through rose moves, 360s. You can do probably anything on that hold. And this one is good too. We've got a little bit more of a deep area. Um, this one feels a little asymmetrical. There's a little edge where it's definitely a little thicker and then an edge where it's more comfortable. So that's gonna lend itself to forcing certain types of movement really nicely. Uh, this is a shallow guy, so this one is definitely, you're going to have to pull hard on this. It does have a nice little lip, a nice radius where you're getting your fingers where it's nice and comfortable. So that's pretty cool. And another small guy here, so you can get two fingers in that very easily. Three fingers would probably be a little bit of a stretch. So, yeah, but very nice, very comfortable holds. Again, 10 in the small series, which is just great. So uh, talk about, you know, bang for your buck. You get this on a home wall. These are, these are what you want for sure. So very comfortable, uh, a lot of variability too. Some are really deep, some are really shallow. Uh, but if you're getting 10 of them, and especially for the low price, you're gonna be able to do whatever you want with these. So very nice, I love pockets. Um, yeah, I think these are gonna climb really well. This is a bit more, uh, a bit more flat basically, so not very in cut. It's more like a, a, a ledge or an edge here, but still a pocket because you need to, you know, get your hand precisely in that area. And one more to show you guys here. So really nice aesthetics. Again, Keegan, great job on these per usual. Your pockets are awesome. I love seeing more pockets on the market. For a long time, there was kind of a shortage of them. Um, E-Grips, of course, classic Quaco, Typhus, I mean, that you can't say anything more than that. that those pockets are great. Louis shaped some great pockets over the years. Other shapers have too, but then they kind of went away. So it's nice to see these coming back. Um, Ian, of course, at Kilter, he's got some awesome pockets that he's shaping with his Granite series. So it's just really cool to see these making a comeback. Uh, also, Dan Yegman over at Decoy, he's got some nice pockets too. I've got some of those on my wall. Um, yeah, so. Really, really great. Good work, guys.